next question is from Gaijin American. Very interesting. At what point does eviction become ethnic cleansing? Should there be a distinction between de facto versus de jure ethnic cleansing? At no point they become eviction becomes ethnic cleansing because you're not evicting people because of their ethnicity. Are you like, I mean, it's if obviously, you do, that's illegal. Yeah, I mean, I, I, okay, if if you're evicting people because of their ethnicity, it was ethnic cleansing before it was an eviction. <laughs> like it was, like it okay, was. Okay, well, it's more, I think it's more of an is, ethnic cleansing than it's an eviction. But go on. The point that he's getting at is like when a wave of mass evictions is particularly hitting. You know, it's all these individual landlords like across the city making a push because they can, you know, flip that property and sell it to someone who can meet the current market demand. Like, and that it just coincidentally or whatever is pushing out a certain ethnic community that used to historically occupy a space. Like, it could the implication of that in mass become ethnic cleansing? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. at what point? Um, well, let's uh, let's look at the definitions of. I don't know. I don't know exactly at what point you have crossed the line to ethnic cleansing. Okay, ethnic cleansing: the removal of a racial of um, a racially or ethnically defined population from their homes and territory in order to further a political purpose, usually the consolidation of political support or to claim. Okay, so at the point, okay, so does it have to be successful for it to become ethnic cleansing or the mere attempt would be ethnic cleansing? Because I think this would be ethnic cleansing. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you evict somebody, okay, uh, just because you hate their ethnicity, that's not ethnic cleansing. But if you are um, evicting them with the eventual goal that like, hey, let's just get rid of this ethnicity in this area altogether. Like if that's the purpose, then even if you fail, that would be ethnic cleansing. I think it, I, I'm going to say it depends on the intention. Yeah, I think well, that would be very be like, difficult because like I'm thinking about San Francisco. Like it's not, there's no conspiracy across these landlords, yeah. you know, to evict people. Yeah, yeah. So if you're like hundreds you're of landlords so across the city, there's no end political goal that they're trying to consolidate, you know, based on that yeah. definition. So it's individual decisions like it's more, more it's either because of like racism or because of monetary like financial things like, oh, if I evict these, I don't know, black people from this house, the value would be higher because I don't know, like maybe they're bringing the house value down or something like that. Right. So if it's because of financial reasons or racism, OK, then it's like crappy but like it's like morally wrong but it's not ethnic cleansing okay but if it's like hey let's get rid of these people from this area because we want to just cleanse this area from this ethnicity that would be if that's the intention if that's like the the joint um coming together of political forces to make something like this happen then that would be ethnic cleansing does that make sense yeah but what if it results in the mass exodus of a if it was certain a ethnic group like in its consequences oh okay 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 so let's say if it wasn't the intention okay but if that's what it results to is so there's two conditions then two situations where it's ethnic cleansing if it wasn't the intention but that's what it results to is ethnic cleansing okay if it is the intention whether it's successful or not successful it would be ethnic cleansing there we go we just defined it right here hmm. Yeah, because I think of ethnic cleansing as something that's intentionally done, it, you know, it's specifically targeted on the basis. <laughs> Exposing is saying, Susanna, that be gentrification. That well, yeah, I, gentrification that's how I interpret, that's what I interpreted this question to be referring to. But that might just be like my own personal experience, like me yeah. projecting. Um, yeah. Or just, yeah, watching that happen in the city that I live in. Um, uh-huh. What were you going to say? 
It's like, does it really matter what we call it? It's like, it's really a crappy situation. That's what we, I mean, maybe. <laughs> yeah. It, well, that's an interesting question. Like, is gentrification ethnic cleansing? Um, no, because that's mostly about like poor people moving out, but regardless of their ethnicity. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, any, yeah. Anyways, that's kind of like the way I was thinking about it, but I realized now that it could, I should look at it much more expansively. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.